Okay, so I, I really just wanted to um, make this video and talk a little bit about the veil, what I think the veil is, why it's here, um, what's behind the veil, and how that connects to everything else in this matrixy world. <laughs> and really, I think about this a lot, probably definitely a daily basis kind of um, questioning in my mind. But, you know, I also had a good question come in about, you know, if these same orbs are linked to the astral, astral world, that these are astral entities and, and also kind of address whether the matrix really is dissolving. So those kind of questions kind of stir in with what the heck is the veil? <laughs> and my disclaimer is I really don't know. <laughs> these are just my thoughts and some of things I've observed through photographing and videoing a lot of nature. And I'll start there. Otherwise, I'll be really all over the place. <laughs> because it's really, it's really hard for me to really understand exactly but what the veil is. So just from taking a lot of video, when I see the veil, I, I mean, I can actually see parts of the veil and it looks like liquid water or liquid plasma you know it's kind of has that uh, mirage look on a hot day when you have those waves of energy but it looks a little bit different it, it looks like there is um, some kind of liquid watery plasma even though I can't see fully through it, I do, I am a lot of times able to see that, the, the cornerstone of the veil. Now, what it is, why it's there, I, I really don't know. And I'm going to be speaking from just some ideas, thoughts, maybe some intuition. Because when I think about this earth plane, or this ferment earth that we live on, and I know that's a big topic I'm not claiming to know for sure that's just kind of where I'm at right now so when I close my eyes and I visualize the earth what I see is it's almost like you take two separate mountaintops and you flip them at their base and you put them together that's what I see as kind of similar to the earth and then around that, I see like a plasmic clear sphere. So when I think of the ferment, I think that kind of model fits. I feel like we are <clears throat> in more of somewhat of a flat earth, but with a dome top or even a dome bottom even. And that's what I see. So it does maybe look like a sphere from pulling yourself away, looking looking in on it, but it, it's somewhere in between. I don't believe it's exactly all these images that we get from NASA, and I think that's all <laughs> fictitious distraction, honestly. So looking at the veil itself, You know, I kind of, I see it as a some kind of biological plasma, but also I see that technology is somehow involved with it. As in, when I look at the moon, I'm going to be jumping around here, but that's the only way I can kind of go back and forth. Because when I look at the moon, I don't get good vibes from the moon. And I don't feel like the moon is a natural sphere. I feel like the moon is like some kind of big magnet that is part of this false matrix system enclosing our consciousness within it. And it may even be a soul trap, a recycling center. I, I feel like that's more closer to reality than, you know, an actual 
semi-planet, you know? I see all kinds of activity on the moon all the time, and it only confirms that. So I, I know that the, the moon, it does influence an energy of the waves and the female cycles and the oceans, and I think that is tied into some kind of technology. I think it, a lot of all this is tied into technology. And I do think that Mother Earth is alive and is a beautiful being. That's why I feel like our planet is alive, biological, but there's so much technology that's interfaced us that it's really kept us from being our true, powerful, spiritual selves. I, I do believe we're still creators and we have the potential to unlock all that and that's where I think the matrix dissolving I think is really tied into our consciousness and how much we free ourselves from this limited technological systems that have imprisoned us and I think it's linked into that interconnected um, spiritual awakening and the more that we awaken and are in tune to say processing all the trauma and the crap and things that we've been through and we start realizing our full potential i think that creates a ripple effect that dissolves this technological dominated <laughs> matrix veil and i think the power lies within us to change that and, um, and that's the only way I can really describe it. I do think that when we go to sleep, we're more tapped into and more vulnerable to these other dimensions and astral entities. And I can talk a lot about just experiences I've had since very young and still to this day. You know, that's a whole other kind of topic, but I think it's all related. It's all interconnected. I do believe that um our dream time our soul time it's a lot more easier to maneuver through these dimensions to interact with different entities but also i think it's so important that we are protected during these times of deep sleep because a lot of things can come in on us and manipulate us as well so i'm gonna leave it there because it's it's one of those things that um, it's really so hard to describe, but I'm not going to stop trying <laughs> to describe it and work it out in my consciousness. So I really just say all these, have this discussion because I really would like to hear from you guys about what your thoughts are on it. I know it's kind of hard to, as I've tried to sit down and just type, you know, a uh, response to a comment, it's really difficult to just put it in like a paragraph it's very one of those things that it's a paradox it's got there's just so many layers that interconnect to other topics that it's really it is at least for myself I'll speak for myself it's hard to talk it out even <laughs> but I definitely am always open to new ideas and perceptions about what the hell is going on in this realm here that we call earth I'll call it ferment earth that makes more sense to me but so I hope this kind of like, <laughs> you know, kind of inspired somebody else to um, share some of their thoughts because I would really love to know. I'd really love to know what you guys think and, um, you know, I, I really love to figure this out. <laughs> so hope you guys are doing well. I really appreciate you listening and I'll talk to you soon.